Hi, I'm Wire. Welcome to Wireworks. Hey everybody, Wire here. Uh, sorry, it's been a couple, uh, quite a few number of weeks since uh, I've done anything. Um, been real busy at the flea market. That's taken off really well. And I'm working four days a week up there. And um, and with the holidays, I, I, I had gotten food poisoning over the holidays and was down for about eight days. Um, I'm doing okay now. I don't know what I, what I ate, but the, man, I got very ill. But uh, I'm good now, and uh, as I promised, we're going to work on this. I'm going to do this um, this um, uh, radio in a number of videos here. Uh, I'm not going to do them all at once. I'm trying to keep my videos down to 10 to 15 minutes each. It uh, seems like when they're real long, people jump around, and, and they really don't uh, get the full uh, value of the of videos. Anyway, this is a Pilot T51 uh, standard broadcast and shortwave radio. It was built in 1947, and as I stated before, if you didn't see my last video, it does have a crack on the, up on the top. We're going to address that. I usually don't like to paint my radios, but with the crack being up here, I will probably um, prime it and um, paint it, try to uh, match the color it is right now. This really is a nice radio. Um, it's one of the best best ones I've seen in a while. I only paid seven dollars for this. I couldn't believe it. But uh, any uh, anyway, uh, my variac went up, so I'm waiting for another variac in the mail. So we're not going to power this up today uh, to see if it works. I know the uh, dial string is broke. Um, the switches seem to work pretty good, so we'll check them out. There's a couple screws missing in the bottom of the holes of the chassis in. Uh, we'll see what's going on there. Um, I think what we're going to do today is we're going to test the tubes and see if they're okay. And then uh, we'll we'll, uh, we'll come back maybe uh, at the end of the week or, or the beginning of next week uh, with uh, with um, maybe replacing some of the circuitry, power this up, and see if it works. Anyway, this is Wire Wireworks. Uh, let's get to it. Okay, let's... Uh, Start taking this apart. Let's see what we have. Let's remove the knobs. This plastic glass is kind of dented. I'm hoping I can get it back to the original shape. It's tweaked here in the background, yelling at the cat. Okay. I'm missing two of these, I believe it's two, two of these screws, but I've got something similar that we could use. Okay. Let's pull this out, hopefully it comes out one piece. I believe there was a back to this. We'll probably have to make a back to it. I've got some uh, some of this pegboard. We can drill some other holes in it. I'll get an idea of what the back looks like and uh, make a template so we can make. By the way, this table I'm working on is a Christmas present from Tweety. She got me a real nice work table for out here in a patio. Um, it's pretty nice out today. It's um, it's Monday, to, I believe the sixth, and it's like 60 degrees out. Unbelievable in January. But I'll I'll take good weather any day. Anyway, this is the front of it. This looks a little B. I'm pretty sure I'll, I might be able to restore this dial face here. Um, hopefully, I can. Uh, if not, I think there's a place uh, uh, online. I believe it's called Radio Days that I can get a duplicate of this. We'll see. 
I think a little hot air on this, I might be able to reshape it or screw it up, either one. It's a little dirty, a little dusty, as you can see. I believe this is for the antenna, shortwave. The uh, tubes are all dirty, so we're going to test them out, clean this up a little bit. The speaker is a little shot. We'll see how this is. I do have some other speakers that we might be able to use. If not, I'll try to fix this up and um, get this back working again. I don't know. I see a lot of wiring and stuff like that in here. I don't know what's going on with this, but we'll see. Anyway, let's get these tubes out of here. And uh, get set up. Set the uh, tube tester up and we'll test these up. We'll be right back. This is why it works. The cord do not look too bad. We'll test it. We might, we might put this back on. I don't know. I've got some cl uh, cloth cord from back in, in this air. We might use that. Anyway, as you can see, maybe you can't. Um, it's pretty dirty in here, so we'll clean this all up, spray it down, get all the cobwebs out of it. And um, I don't know, this is a electromagnetic um, speaker, so I don't have anything like this. Um, so we're going to see if this is working. Um, I'm pretty sure I might be able to fix this. I usually like to use, um, believe it or not, I use toilet paper and... Uh, and some rubber cement to fix these and it seems to work fairly well for me so we'll do this a little bit at a time and also a uh, nail polish works really well on these too so um let me get the um tube tester set up we'll get back to this as far as cleaning this up a little later this is wire wire works okay we're back um this is a uh, all american five tube radio it uh, runs on five tubes and all the voltages add up to what the line voltage is in your home 115 volts 120 and the tube lineup is a 12 sa7 a 12 sk7 a 12 sq7 a 50l6 and a 35 z5 for a rectifier so what we're going to do is start testing them let's um Let me get some cleaner real quick because these are dirty. I hope everybody had a nice holiday. I, uh, like I said, I got food poisoning on Christmas Eve and I was in bed till New Year's Eve pretty much. I tell you, I, I do not wish that on my worst enemy, food poisoning. I, I don't know what, what it was I ate. We were out partying, uh, went to different houses on uh, Christmas Eve, some friend's house, and uh, man, I don't know what I ate, but I got sick. Uh, nobody else got sick, but I did, but uh, you know, I don't know what I ate. I know it wasn't intentional, but um, it is what it is, man. Things happen. You know, it's not the first time I have gotten food poisoning. Years ago, uh, when I was in the printing industry, we would have uh, these annual bull and oyster roasts where every Everybody on the East Coast that was in the printing industry would come to. It was thrown in February. And I ate some bad oysters that day, and I was sick for two weeks. But uh, I guess it happens from time to time. I'm sure a couple of you have had it as well. So, let's see. You really don't want to wipe these tubes down too hard too much, especially where the uh, where the identifier, tube identification is, because you'll wipe it right off. What we're going to do is uh, we'll start with the 50L6 first. 
L6 is an audio uh, output tube. So let's uh, look in my trusty little address book here. 50L6. 50 50 Okay. MC load is turning. Goes in socket 8D, which is right up here. Actually, let's turn this on first. Set the type to 50. Set the filament to 50. F is 2. F1 is 7. Q is 5. Set the normal. The load is 20. You guys can't see this eye. This tells me if the grid is bad or not. This goes in D. Oops, it's this one here. that heat up. So that's good. That's it's in the good range. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's around 80. Let's let it heat up a little bit. Element analysis, that's good. The only downside to this thing is um, it, it doesn't test for shorts. Oh, wait a minute, filament continuity. Special. Is this a special? It's not a special. Okay, this is measuring good, but I think the grid is bad on this. What we'll have to do is take a voltage test when we get it in the um, when we get it in the uh, back in the uh, in the radio. See what the voltage is on this. Other than that, it did test good. Oh wait a minute! Let me test dynamic mutual conductance. Oh, that tests good. So it does test good, but the grid test bed so we'll have to see what's going on with this I'll, like I said I'll test the voltage on it once we get it back in the um, in the radio okay we're going to test the uh, rectifier now the 35 Z5 let me set this up and we'll be right back okay let's test this 35 Z5 which is a rectifier Let that heat up a little bit. It's not doesn't say any kind of special or anything. So um, let's see what she'll do. Oh, going up to about 90, 95, and there's no shorts in the grid. Filament's good. 
Oh, didn't, doesn't get that test. So this is real good. And I'll try work, working on some of these other tubes. I got a buddy stopping over. I'm waiting for him right now. So uh, let's set let's set up one of these other ones. Let's do the uh, 12 SK7 next. Oops. SK7. Okay. DMC load was 13. Okay. The volts get set to 12. Put all these back. F is 2. F1 is 7, which is all the way down here. The Q is 4. And the load is 45. And this goes in hole number, socket number 8E, which is, I believe, this one here. Okay, this has got a bad grip. Line adjust. It tests good, but the grid is bad on this. Let me try this again. Let's try this again. That's 8F. I'm sorry, I put that in the wrong hole. Let's try this now. Let me reset this because I'm getting a bad reading on this. E. Let me uh, let me take care of my buddy here. I'll be right back. This is Wired Wire Works. Morning, hey, man. Okay, I'm back. Um, I had my buddy come over. Um, my buddy Cowboy. He um. We've been friends for a long time. He's going in for open heart surgery next week. And I uh, uh, wanted to make sure he was taken care of. And him and his wife, um, if they need anything, they can uh, count on me to help them out. Anyway, let's get back to this. Uh, I got the uh, 12 SK7 put in. So let's give this a shot. Let me see. Okay, this test good, but I'm getting a bad grid on this. So I'm probably going to have to replace this one. So this one's iffy as well. And this is the um, 12SK7 and this is for the uh, this is this is the IF. Uh, okay, that's bad. Well, it's not bad, but it's got a, a bad grid. And the 50L6 has a bad grid too. So we're going to check them in the radio once I, we fire it up and get it going. Okay, now let's try the... Um, next one would be the 12SQ7. Set 12 volts. Let's just put all these back. F is 7, F1 is 8, Q is 2, the load is 100%, and this goes in slot 8J, which is right down here. Okay, 12SA7, 12SA7, 
Is that SA, no, SQ7, 12 SQ7. Okay. That tests good. Okay, Q goes on a four on this as well. That tests pretty good. on five this must be a I think this is a triode that tests good Dynamic mutual conduct conductance is a tad bit low on this. And these are kind of old too, from 1947, so I'm pretty sure they're a little bit beat. But just because they're beat doesn't mean they're not going to work. Um, I would like to get another tube tester to uh, back up my findings when I when I test the tubes on this, this one. Just to make sure that these um, tubes are... Uh, test all the same so this test halfway decent so like I said just because they're low doesn't mean they're not going to work okay now let's try the 12 SA7 let's go back one page two pages 12 SA7 12 Okay, 12 SA7, get set on 12, F is 2, F1 is 7, Q is 5, and the load is 60, and it goes in slot 8D, this one here. It looks pretty good on that. Oh, this test is real nice. The DMC load is supposed to be 100, and I'm only getting 40, so these twos probably show a little wear on them. But we're going to give them a shot anyway um, in the radio. And uh, they might be wore out for the simple fact the circuitry in the radios probably have shorts in it. The, the, the resistors probably be out of, are probably out of tolerance. But it is what it is. See, this grid is bad as well. So I don't know. I might just wind up replacing all these tubes. I have, I have extra tubes, so it's not a big deal. Okay, well that seems to be a extent of two of tube testing we're going to do. 
two of these tubes test real good. The other three are iffy. So it is what it is. Anyway, let's get this all shut down and uh, let's take the bottom off of the radio and see what we have to replace here. This is wired wire works. Okay, everybody, we're back. We're going to take the bottom off of here and see what we have on the inside and see what we have to replace. So, it's, this just came right off. What a mess. As you can see, we have nothing but wax capacitors in here. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven wax capacitors and one, two, three mica capacitors, and everything in this thing looks like it's melted down. Actually, four wax capacitors. Looks like somebody has been in this thing, so uh, we're going to have to go through this big time before um, we do anything else with this as far as circuitry is concerned. It looks like somebody played with the uh, with the dial switch. So I may I may actually I may wind up just putting all new circuitry in this. The um, electrolytic capacitor looks shot. Let's see what this calls for. Here's the specs right here. The electrolytic capacitor. It's a uh, three stage, a 30, a 30 microfarad, 20 microfarad, and 20 microfarad. And that's this right here. And like I said, it looks like somebody's been in here already. So, like I said, we're, we're probably going to replace all the circuitry in here just to be on the safe side. And some of these, uh, these resistors look a little on the shot side to me. And it's not that many. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven resistors. Made eight tops, so that's not a big deal. We'll replace those, put all new capacitors in here, and clean the thing up, and we'll go from there. Um, there's a capacitor underneath of here, and. Um, We'll, we'll, we'll see what we'll see what's what and this is a hot chassis it's challenging but I, I, I like radios like this we'll uh, get all the stuff in here and uh, get this cleaned up and uh, see if we can get it working anyway like I said well, I'm gonna be making these in a couple in a couple of different uh, parts. Uh, the next part uh, we'll test it. We'll put it on a Variac and see if we can bring it up. And uh, we'll fix the speaker and um, we'll see what we can get into. Anyway guys, if you, if you uh, like the video, give me a thumbs up and hopefully I can get back to this as quick as possible. Like I said, I've been pretty busy at the um, flea market and I'll probably get, bring you guys up there one day and make a little little video of where I'm at. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, man. I appreciate it. You guys have a good one. God bless you all. This is Wired Wireworks. See ya.